What's up guys? How are you guys doing today? So today guys, don't forget to be different, have some fun and be yourself guys, but today is currently Tuesday and it is my friend's birthday and so he probably would watch this, but happy birthday to you. But anyway, later at like 1.30 we're going over to the Mandarin to celebrate his birthday and my other friend's birthday was on the 14th. So. We're celebrating their birthday together, it's like a little bit of a conjoined birthday. And then later at around, the, we are going to see a movie for 4.50. The movie starts at 4.50 at the Cineplex just up the road from here. And we are seeing Angel Has Fallen. And if you guys do not know what that movie is, it is about like, um, a, like a, it's about a US president and a guardian angel of the president. There, there's like an assassination attempt and they believe the guardian angel it was it was him that was just trying to assassinate the president so they put the angel the guardian angel in prison and as they're transporting him he breaks and gets out of the car and then he's on the run but then he relinks with the president and then they they try to fix the whole situation and that was just from the trailer. The trailer was really, really good. It has Morgan Freeman in it, and that's as far as I can tell who's in it. But anyway, I'm about to go downstairs, edit yesterday's video, so that'll be up for you guys. Today. So, it is now later. It is currently 1.19, and I'm just pretty much getting ready for going out with my friends right now. Which should be fun. Um... I should be back around 7, so it'll be a while since I will record, but anyway, that's pretty much the whole goings on today, is I'm just going out with my friends, and just for their birthday, which, that should be really fun, I'm looking forward to that, but anyway, when I come back, I'll tell you how the movie went, but I won't spoil anything, I'll just say how I liked it, and just, yeah, but anyway, I guess... Yeah, so I, I just edited yesterday's video. It is a good video. If you guys haven't watched that, just talking about my baseball game yesterday. And believe it or not, I threw out a guy uh, at second base from right field. I explained it in the video, and I made a couple other plays. And then when I was up to bat, I got hit right in the arm. And it's a little bit tender today. There's a decent-sized bruise. But... Anyway, um, I'm about to go with my friends right now, so I'll catch back with you guys when I am back from that. So, I got back from the movie, like, I'd say around after 8 o'clock, and I had some pizza and popcorn, and I watched Murdoch, and I've just been playing a little bit of Minecraft for the time being now, but it is currently, like, 12.30, going on 12.30, like a minute to, it's 12.29. But anyway, uh, I really didn't record much today, and I will record more tomorrow, and I'm gonna, this is another video over a couple of days, and I don't know, those videos, I like doing videos over a couple of days just because, I don't know, but anyway, I think I'm gonna have my friend over whose birthday it was today, over tomorrow, we're gonna hang out, but anyway, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. <laughs> So it is now the next day and if you guys haven't watched yesterday's video I suggest you guys go watch it it is like another storytelling video and I made a new playlist on my YouTube channel a bunch of stories that I've told and they're like a couple John has a couple birthday stories on there that I made for him and then one about New York and then one about me so another one was posted yesterday and it was another story about John's birthday and I think it is really good you guys should go watch it and anyway my friend is gonna be over at 1 30 which is gonna be fun but anyway I'm gonna go downstairs watch some Murdoch and have some lunch. So I came downstairs to look for something and I was looking for all my watches 
and this stuff and the lighting's not the greatest over here but um so i was looking for my watches and then as i was sitting down over here uh, we have a bookshelf right here and uh, at this bookshelf my, we have a couple of my grandpa's stuff and believe it or not right here he my grandpa has his wedding day pictures here which is kind of cool like look he says our wedding and this is pretty much how i'm documenting here i'll just kind of get all these books and put them in better lighting but he has a bunch of these books more of them down here so if if you guys want me to do a part two of this video i will just because i think it's so fascinating but um i so if i go uh, where's the best lighting probably i'd say yeah let's go here so uh, i have the books right here now and um the f let's just go back to his wedding day and see what it was like just because i think it is really cool and um so he t he put our wedding on it and this is kind of what stuff that i'm doing which I thought that was really cool seeing what my grandpa has done. Like I, I, I don't know, it's just really interesting to me seeing what my grandpa has done and seeing what I'm doing. And I think that's where I got my love for photography. But also from my mother because she takes pictures as well. And if you guys watched yesterday's video, you would see that as John and I were young, my mom has been taking video and pictures for so long. She's pretty much been doing what I've been doing, vlogging pretty much. And it was, it's kind of cool to see what she has done. But, so, it, we have the marriage and then we have bride, bridegroom at, on best man, bride, bridesmaids is what we have here. And like the, I guess the table of contents, more or less. And then, oh, he didn't write the. He has a bunch of stuff like that. Oh, this is interesting. So here is my grandpa and grandma back in the 1950s, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure when they actually got married. But this is really crazy to see how like nice this is and these are nice that's a nice picture of them too and then if we go to the next page we have i think that's my grandpa and that's his brother i believe i'm not sure i never got really to meet his brother just because my grandpa was originally from england and uh, he came over to get a better job in canada but his brother stayed over in England, so my dad was born in England, but then he came over to Canada when he was around nine. So his, my grandpa's brother, I guess, stayed in England because he have cousins over there in England still, which is kind of cool. But anyway, the next page is, uh, I believe, my grandma and her father, and I never, like, I guess, yeah, I, I would never have got to meet her dad because he was older then but my grandma's looking great and her dad is looking great this is actually so cool and then i guess this is i'm gonna go on a limb right now and say this is my grandma's sister or friend of some sort just because she's the bridesmaid i think that that it sounds right to say that but anyway, the next page we have my grandma and grandpa again. And like I said, the, these pictures are so nice. And uh, the next one, yeah, so I guess that's, uh, so my grandpa, his brother, my grandma and her sister. I know that's the bridesmaid. And then that's like, uh, I don't know, what it, what does it say on here? Um... What would it be the br the bridegroom or something i guess that would be my or the best man i guess he would be uh and then my the the two married the two getting married and then the the uh, bridesmaid and then the next one 
we have um, so I get that's my grandpa's parents and then my grandma's dad I, I don't know maybe she didn't I don't know if she had a mother then um, I don't know I don't know much about like my great grandparents all I know is about my grandparents so I to be honest I don't really know but here's the whole picture so there's the bridesmaid the her the dad my grandma's dad my grandma my grandpa my grandpa's parents uh my grandpa's brother and I think sister to I don't know I, honestly I don't know I don't even think my grandma had any siblings so maybe those are I don't know. I think that's a friend um, or cousin. It could be, but there you go again. So there's my grandma smiling and having a good time, and her bridesmaid. And times have changed, it seems, but with the whole, I guess, era. But it's a really cool scene back in these days. Um, there's my grandma again, and another a close up. Well, this is a really nice picture of my grandma here. A close-up of my grandma and on her wedding day. That's a really nice one. And this is my, I guess, my grandpa and grandma roaming the streets of England um, on their wedding day. And that's really cool. That's a really nice picture of that. And then the next one there, my grandpa and grandma are cutting the cake. Well, oh, gee whiz, that's really cool. Uh, and then... I guess, uh, oh, that's my, I believe those are my grandpa's sisters and then his parents. And, uh, whoa, there's so many m more st stuff here. These are like Polaroid pictures. Uh, there's Polaroid pictures of the wedding day. And, whoa, that's actually kind of cool. I like this. This is really cool. He's got everything in here. And, um... He's got so much stuff. He's got more Polaroid pictures. And I guess... Uh, oh, he's got a thing. Like, developed to be pictures to be... Like, put on um, like a bigger picture, I guess. Um, but then he's got envelopes. And what what's in this envelope? Oh, he's got a... What is this? What do we, what do we have here? Um... Huh. Oh, it's their marriage thing. Um, what else do we have here? He's got so much of their wedding day. See, this is what I want to do. This is kind of cool. Like seeing if my grandkids looked at this and said, Whoa, this is kind of cool. And then there's them again. Um, he's got a newspaper too of their wedding day, I guess. Uh... What else do we have? There's his sister, my grandpa's sister. Um, what else do we have? Them again. The whole, I guess, yeah, the same thing. My grandpa, my grandma, the uh, best man, and the bridesmaid. And there's so many little pictures here. And there's so much here. Which is absolutely crazy to think about what he did. There's them on the evening telegram. The couple walking to the reception at Queen's Hotel. And, um, well, this is, uh, this is crazy. Let's see. Um, I don't know if I can find the date on this, if there is a date. But, um, what it says, there's something here that says the telegram on it, um, but it might be, like, a bit, oh, oops, what did I do? Um, let's see, what do, you, what do we have here? Not okay, so I guess that's nothing but, um, when, 1961. Is I guess when they got married, um, which is really cool. So they got married May twenty third, nineteen sixty one. 
But anyway, like I said, if you want to see a part two of me going through old pictures that we have of what my grandpa did, anyway, comment down below if you guys want to see that and share the video. That might give me a hint. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. It has been a while since I last recorded, but in the last clip, I pretty much found my grandpa's old stuff like that he has down there. And pretty much I'm doing the same idea. But on this, right now I have my little, um, like my Polaroid Pictures book. And then I have my GoPro stuff because I just rearranged everything. I put more of my clothes down here, my socks and stuff in this drawer. So that I could clean this one out. But anyway, I really found that interesting because my grandpa's wedding was 1950. And which was like the 1950s around there i believe around that uh, something like that and which was like 50 years before when i was born so which is kind of cool and uh so it was just kind of cool just seeing that and just seeing what my grandpa was like back when he was younger and i'm glad he documented his life just like I'm doing that's where I pretty much get it from my grandpa because he documented pretty much everything that he did which I'm really happy for and maybe my kids will be or my grandkids will be watching these and saying I'm really glad my my grandpa like documented his life and if you guys haven't watched yesterday's video it was a happy birthday video for John and I do this video every year, just a different type, but this one was 7 minutes and 14, 7 minutes and 5 seconds long or something like that, 7 minutes long, and there's just something for John to see, and just, I thought it was pretty cool, but anyway, after my friend left around like 5.30, I, we had dinner, we had soup for dinner, we had cabbage soup, then I watched Murdoch, had some popcorn, and then now I'm here. I'm about to play Minecraft. I was AFK on the server the whole day. Like, I've been just on the server like that. But, anyway, I'm going to go play Minecraft, and then I'll catch you guys. So, I just finished my journal for now, and I decided I'm going to title it Hanging with friends just because I hung out with my friend today, but pretty much today I woke up at 11.06 a.m. and had grilled cheese and watched Murdoch, and that was great. Then my friend came over at 1.30. We went in the pool for about two hours. We were like really soaking in the pool and just hanging out in the pool playing a couple, I guess we were, we were playing baseball in the pool and just going back and forth from the pool to the hot tub. And we got, my hands got really wrinkly and they were, it was just like when you adapt to the water and they get really wrinkly and they were super wrinkly for being in there for about two hours. But, and then after the pool, we hung out a little bit, then he left at around 5.30. We had cabbage soup for dinner, which was so good. And with that cabbage soup, we had um, garlic bread. My father made homemade garlic bread, which was, that was absolutely amazing. And cabbage soup was good for today, because today wasn't extremely warm. It's becoming more like fall weather now, which I don't mind actually, because I don't really like 30 something degrees weather outside. I like more 20s with wind a little bit, with a breeze, just because it gives you that nice temperature. Which that's why I like Newfoundland the most, cause just because it has to get the water breeze with the, with actually pretty good temperature when we were there, which I like that a lot. But anyway, I then watched Murdoch and had popcorn for the rest of the night, and that was my day. Pretty much, I end off most of my days just watching TV and having popcorn. That's what I mostly do in school year, because then I know that's like the end of my night. I don't know, it's just been a routine for a little while. I love popcorn, I love having popcorn. It's just something I love. But anyway, yeah, so that was my day. That was my journal, but I guess I'll catch you guys. All right, guys, so it has come to the part. Honestly, I don't even know what time it is. It's so, it's 12.33 anyway. But 
Um, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I know my parents are doing stuff. My dad had, he has a big thing tomorrow going on. He has, I forget what he said, but he's got like uh, he, a presentation down in, I f uh, somewhere, I don't know, I forget what he said, but I know it might be bad. But he's got a presentation which should be good. Good luck on that. But I know my mother's going to work tomorrow because she's back to school, getting ready, prepping her classroom for for school back in the fall, which I'm not really looking forward to. But we get an extra day off just because it's like grade nine orientation day on the first day. John gets to miss that day this year because he's not a grade nine anymore. He's going into grade 10 and I'm going to my final year, which is absolutely crazy. But anyway, on that note, I do believe that is going to wrap the end of today's video. So I basically like to thank you guys so much for watching. And I do hope you guys enjoyed. And if you're interested in another video, guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on my post notifications, and smash that like button. Smash. Peace out, everyone. Peace out. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.